Reuse, recycle. You hear that all the time about bottles and cans, but now it also applies to the U.S. space program. Makes sense. SpaceX is set to launch astronauts to the International Space Station. As CBS reporter Mark Strassman shows us, they'll make that trip on a recycled rocket. There's the splashdown. There once was a time when splashdown meant a museum for a crude space capsule. Not anymore. Welcome back to planet Earth, and thanks for flying SpaceX. This Dragon capsule, charred like a marshmallow, flew SpaceX's first crew last summer. Now, with a new heat shield and parachutes, SpaceX is set to fly people in it again. Its next passengers, this international crew of veteran astronauts, including two Americans. SpaceX will also reuse the first stage booster of this rocket from its last crewed flight in November. By landing and reflying its boosters, SpaceX has driven down the cost of launching satellites and cargo. But flying people on used hardware required NASA's okay. And so we went through a pretty exhaustive process with SpaceX to look at what we needed to refurbish on those systems and gone through engineering review to make sure they're safe to fly. At least it did the job that it was designed for once and everything worked fine the first time around. Tomorrow's crew is confident the hardware will work just as well the second time around. I think you have to be an optimist if you're going to be an astronaut. If you think at everything that could go wrong, uh, it's a rather long list and you're not going to sleep much at night. Release. This was NASA astronaut Megan MacArthur working on the Hubble telescope back in 2009. Her confidence returning to space tomorrow in a used capsule runs deep. I know somebody that I trust completely was, was really involved in, in developing this vehicle. That somebody is fellow astronaut Bob Bankin, her husband. On that very first SpaceX flight last summer, Bankin flew in the same Crew Dragon capsule. In fact, sat in the very same seat that his wife will ride into space. It is funny to me that sometimes I'll start asking questions of the trainers and they'll say, you know, your husband had this same set of questions for us. Is he going to leave you a note? I'm not sure, although I think, you know, if there's any chewed up gum under the seat, I'll know where it came from. <laughs> the weather forecast looks good for liftoff tomorrow, set for 5.49 a.m. The crew will dock with the space station on Saturday morning. Mark Strassman, CBS News at the Kennedy Space Center.